Well, hello there. I'm so glad that you're here today, and I'm very, uh, I'm very sorry that I didn't get to uh, make my broadcast earlier. We have been at an RV rally in Lafayette, Louisiana. Well, hello Woo! There. I'm okay. So glad that you're here today. So, we were in. Lafayette, Louisiana. We had a wonderful time. I think I did gain that 10 pounds I was telling you about a couple of weeks ago. And so I'm going to, I am i don't know how much more. Um, hey, Maureen. Hey, PJ. I'm glad you're here. And thank you so much for being so patient. We got up about, well, we got up very early because we get up early. And then we hit the road in, uh, hey, girlfriend. And uh, we hit the road in Pensacola about 7.30. And the road on I-10 was all backed up, so we had to take an alternate route. Uh, you know what they say about, wh who is it, um, uh, the guy that, that is over is, if everything, if anything could go wrong, it goes Murphy's wrong? Law. Uh, Murphy's Law, yeah. We had Murphy's Law all day long. So we stopped for lunch and we had a, uh, a nice lunch um, a couple of hundred miles down the road and then um, picked up. The traffic just started uh, being very crowded. Uh, today we finished up with 430 miles and we never do that. Uh, a good day for an RVer is probably are you saying that you hear six words at a time? Is this, this has to be your connection. Yeah, it has to be. If y'all are not hearing me good, tell me so, because I have a microphone plugged in, and also my MiFi is really clear in this location. So if you have a problem with this, hearing this, I will be uploading it, oh, I will be uploading it to um, YouTube and it will be clear then. So I'm sorry if there is a problem with the transmission in any way. But like I was telling you, we get to Bushnell, which is our exit. We go to Love's to disconnect because I wanted to get home and Robert is stopping every few words. See if that's plugged in okay. So anyway, we go to start up the car and it's deader than a doornail. So, you know, the things just continue. The whole day has gone like this. So anyway, we're safe and sound. We are at Florida Grand now and I'm checking my connections to make sure everything is okay. And it says that it is, but you know, I don't know. A couple of you have asked for templates for what we're working on right now. This is a wine bag, and if you are here at Florida Grand, I'll give you one if you want to come get it. Uh, and you're listening, I really, I see where there's a, a skipping in, in my transmission. I think I'm going to have to call Verizon and get this settled. Okay, now, let me show you what we're working on, and I'll try to show you a close-up. Uh, we're going to be doing, let me see, let me see if I can get this up close. Not that one, this one. We're going to be getting it up close because I'm going to show you what we're doing today. This is going to be a neat little project and I hope you'll participate. You can see we have lots of different shades of green. And so that's what I'm going to uh, concentrate on when we're painting. Several people have asked for, thank you, Leka. Some pe several people ask for templates and, yeah, that's right, PJ. 200 miles is a good way to go. And we don't like to go any more than that either. We like to put our feet up and rest. Um, but this is the bird. Don't get excited about the bird. He's not the main thing in here. 
What is the main thing, I think, are the colors and the leaves. They're beautiful. We're not going to do the guy in the background, just not necessary. And um, also what I wanted to ask you to do, it's getting better. Maybe I'm getting warmed up then. Um, what I'd like to ask you to do is if you want a template, just message me and say, I've got a picture of this and I'll send it to you. And that's, somebody said, we want to do a flamingo. And I said, well, we can do a flamingo in a couple of weeks. I've got one planned, by the way. But what we want to do here is I want you to take a pencil, something you sketch with, and I want you to start sketching the leaves that are in this. In fact, why don't you do, take a, take a, see if I can back this up. If you can take a screenshot of this card, it might help you to, in looking for the kinds of green that you want to put in this. Uh, I have several different greens out, but I know there's a couple more that I've got that I'm going to bring over here uh, to our coach. Now, we've been gone since August 1st, and I still have a truckload of projects that we could be working on. So the colors that I have are avocado, citrus, leaf green, spring green, and Hauser medium green. So see, it's, it doesn't really matter what greens you have. I'll be using yellow, and I'll be using, um, I'll be using yellow, and I'll also be using uh, white in the picture. So what we're going to be doing this today, and I'll have it ready for you uh, by tomorrow, is our sketching of what we're going to paint. Now I've already primed the bag. Let me show it to you. I've primed it with gesso, but you could use anything. This is about a, it's a square, but it could have been longer. I didn't do put his legs in there because it's, it's not necessary. Nobody's going to miss those legs. They're kind of bumpy and anyway. So, but we're going to tr try to concentrate on the leaves and the plumage of the bird. And he's going to be kind of a creamy yellow white, very light colored bird. I've seen these birds, they're shore birds, and this one is a hair, a egret. Is that right? Egret. If I know my birds, maybe I don't. But this one, we're going to just kind of like, like this one, this area right here. I want to, want to show you this. This area right in here has maybe one one two three four five five different leaves off of the main stem and so we're going to just take our pencil and pencil this in yeah i'll see you on youtube that's a real good way to, to catch this live i've noticed that you know they don't have any breaks in the uh, audio it comes out smooth smooth as silk me talking smooth as silk and if you're here today I'd like to thank you for being here because uh, oh sure sure you can get it in November yeah PJ is my friend who comes to Florida Grand she and her husband uh, have a lot here and right now she's in Franklin North Carolina and you see here this leaf right here all I'm doing is penciling these in and I'm going to probably be changing them as time goes by because they have a lot of really pretty what what attracted me to the picture is the the green color and that it was it was just a beautiful shorebird too with lots of color and texture in him. So this is what we'll be working on. And, and in this area right here, right in here, are some gold leaves. Those probably are brown or whatever, but 
it kind of gives it a little bit more hey Linda Linda I mean uh, it gives it a little more color also so there's some blue and some black but you know we're not going to concentrate on that purple bird he can just um, he can just fly away because we're not going to um, put him in the picture. He's out of it. So if if I didn't say it at first, I'm Marty Whitney, and I teach artitude adjustment. And I zoomed in on me. Uh, I teach artitude adjustment. I teach fun art, not fine art. And I have a live on Facebook every day. Uh, now that we're in Eastern Standard Time, my lives will probably, I haven't decided what time they'll be, but probably about 3 o'clock. Is that okay with y'all? That was, that was about what time we were doing it in the beginning. And uh, hey, Bobby. Hey, Bobby, y'all are back in town, I guess. So um, you were in snow the other day, I noticed, uh, up in Montana, Wyoming. Yeah, I love that picture of y'all. So, uh, I teach uh, five days a week here, uh, usually about 20, 25 minutes. We do one project every week, and on Friday we wrap it up and I introduce the new project for the next week. If you like painting or if you're creative, like me, I'm a creative entrepreneur, if you like that, then you'll enjoy this class. I hope that everyone will feel very comfortable in speaking up and talking, saying things, um, maybe recommending what you'd like to do because it certainly is fine with me. But this is uh, our project this week. I'll show you what it is. It's going to look like this. This is a this is about um, a 16 inch bag, but I have gessoed over it just so that it'll make it easier for me to put the acrylic paints on and it's also uh, seamed in the middle where there uh, so you can carry two bottle or two beverage containers without them clanking against each other and there's nothing going to be on the other side and uh, this is just going to be a nice gift for someone. You could call it a Christmas gift if you wanted, or you might decide you want to keep it for yourself. I've done one like this a couple of weeks ago, and uh, to me it was kind of a summery thing, and I'm getting out of the summery pit, uh, colors and everything right now. So uh, this would be a good gift to anybody um, uh, who would you'd like to give a nice gift to. So. Having said all that, and I'm tired, I would like to um, invite you back tomorrow. I think we'll do this about 3 o'clock if all goes well. I'll just say that right now. And I will be live, and um, the next day I fly to Atlanta, but I think I'll be okay with doing a live um, from um, the great state of Georgia. So. Uh, Thank you very much for being here today. Um, like I say, most of these lives don't last any more than 15, 20 minutes. And then um, it gives you ch a chance to work on a project, uh, to get your paints together. Uh, we're using acrylics in most of the classes that I teach. And um, unless I say something different, uh, if you come to my Artitude Adjustment classes, uh, I teach uh, fun art, not fine art, and um, I will um, be able to answer any questions you have um, regarding projects that we do. So, thank you for being here, and remember, it's a great day to have a great day. So, let me know if... Uh, let me know if you can if you'd like any of the templates for this I'll be happy to send them to you just send me your email address on um, in a message and I'll return the template thank you all for being here oh well, let me see one minute we are okay I already said gonna be here tomorrow at three o'clock so um, 
If you need any information about the supplies that we are working on, let me know. Y'all have a great evening. Bye-bye now.